how did you decide to like do this 15 year of exploration into the Shah Rukh Khan phenomenon with women? I realized increasingly through these conversations and it started in, in an area in a low income settlement in Ahmedabad, then in villages in Uttar Pradesh, uh, forests of Jharkhand that actually it was Shah Rukh Khan who all these women increasingly there was a theme that was connecting all of us across class, across caste, across faiths. It was an interesting story to tell about how women see men, what is the female gaze, right, about sex, relationships. But also what was really interesting was that in fact when women are fans, they are deviating from what is considered socially acceptable for a woman to do. There's also an awkwardness I realized around women being fans and I write about this in the piece which is in a way when you're saying you're a Shah Rukh Khan fan, uh, you're basically saying I like the way a man looks and I like the way his body looks and I think he's appealing. And in a country where we are obsessed with controlling female sexuality, you know, with all reasons to do with caste and class, the fact that these women were giving voice to pleasure, uh, to aspirations, was a very interesting story, I thought, to tell. Shah Rukh, amongst all the stories that he tells about contemporary India, there's a very powerful story there about women's aspirations, uh, women's economic lives, um, and women's desire for a very different kind of masculinity. Also, you begin your uh, piece with this, uh, you know, teary-eyed moments. Uh, and I really liked it, I mean, in the sense that it, yeah. it has this instant connection because a lot of people actually go to Bollywood to all these, uh, you know, uh, love scenes when they are lonely or when yeah. they are sad, like I do, like yeah. I watch the entire night before writing the piece, all the Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan clips where, you know, Salman Khan is saying that I'm going to be there for your family. Yeah. Even for me, for, for instance, I've had moments and I write about this in the book, uh, terrible relationships, uh, boring evenings even, yeah, yeah, yeah. boredom and, and all of that where one then tries to find images that, and or words that give you sucker, right? And, and I've always felt nothing hits the spot like Shah Rukh and nothing hits the spot like Bollywood. Even when he's doing terrible things to women in the movies, yeah. Because he's not always the greatest of guys no, no, in the no, movies. No, I mean, yeah, like. yeah. And even in like the candy floss films, there's a gender politics there that can be quite you know troublesome. But Women just let him rise above that because he was so fabulous in the way he would talk about success, women in the workplace, the way he talked about his own colleagues, his co-actors, yeah. Indian society. People lapped it up. We were in conversation with Shreyana who has written the lead essay in Outlook magazine about how women see Shah Rukh Khan. So please pick up your uh, copies, it has great photos, great artwork and great write-ups about how we all see Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs>